the pre-earnings report frenzy has really started for NEO. The share price is just on a roller coaster right now, going from minus 8% to up almost 3%, and now, at the time of this video, being down around 3%. Being a shareholder in this company is really not for the weak, and you need to buy and hold with conviction to not fall into the trap of buying high and selling low, as opposed to buying low and selling high, which is what you should be doing. As most of you NEO investors, or just NEO enthusiasts in general, know by now, there is a very important earnings report coming up on Tuesday before the market opens. An earnings report that will definitely play a big part in how the NEO stock price will be moving, at least in the short term. So let's go through just what you should be looking for in this earnings report and what expectations these analysts have that NEO will try to exceed. Also, I'll go over some great recent news that I read over the weekend and also whether or not I think you should buy NEO before earnings, after earnings or do some crazy option plays. If you're new here, my name is Sam and welcome to the channel. If you find this video valuable, I would appreciate it if you press that like button. It helps out my channel so much. Also, subscribe if you want to see more NEO and other EV company updates. We're a fast growing community and I would love to have you on the journey. Now let's get back to NEO. So I'm not sure when you will be watching this, but right now it is Monday and let's look at the stock chart so we can better assess how the earnings report might affect the price. Today NEO has already had some crazy swings. In the pre-market we were almost down 8%, but the time of this video we're down around 3% after first being up 3%. This is not normal for such a big company and it is clear that investors are speculating a lot on the earnings report. And we are probably seeing a lot of short selling as well which can really make the price go haywire. We will definitely go over the earnings expectations and what you should be looking for later on. Obviously we all know that NEO has rallied a ridiculous amount and grown exponentially this year, being up more than 1000% since January. I see a lot of skeptics saying that no stock can keep growing exponentially and that NEO has grown enough. My rebuttal to that is that yes, of course we won't be expecting it to grow another 1000% next year, that would be just insane, but just looking at its current valuation of around $60 billion and comparing it to something like Tesla's $390 billion, I see no reason why they shouldn't be able to go to $100, meaning going up 100% sometime in 2021. Although I think this will happen, the key word here is might. Obviously, investing in NEO is associated with higher risk, so make sure that you are diversified and that you are also investing in things like index funds and other growth stocks and all that good stuff. But with that said, a deciding factor in just how the NEO stock price will move, at least over the upcoming week, is the earnings report. And we'll see it before the market opens on Tuesday. Last week, we saw Xpeng and Li Auto both exceed the expectations of the analyst on their earnings reports, so I am expecting NEO to do so as well, or at least match the expectations. So what are these expectations? Analysts on average are estimating a loss of 17 cents per share on revenues of $652.77 million. This represents a marked improvement from the loss of $2.38 per share and revenues of $262.47 million reported for the year ago quarter. Keep in mind that NEO's third quarter deliveries jumped over 150% year over year to 12,206, marking a quarterly record. This strong momentum continued into October, with the company reporting a 100% increase in deliveries to a record of 5,055 units for the month. And the impressiveness of these feats have very much led to the high expectations we are seeing right now. Now, I want to make one thing clear. The NEO stock movements are not 100% correlated with how good the earnings report will be. And as I cannot see into the future, I can't really predict what the price will look like in the coming week. For example, Xpeng shot up by almost 40% after its strong report. While Li Auto didn't move as much at the time of its strong report, but it is up around 8% today instead. Still not being at an all-time high though. What I do know, on the other hand, is that a strong report will make people, me included, more confident in NEO's long-term ability to disrupt the Chinese electric vehicle market, which will in turn more than double the share price in the long term, in my opinion. 
You see, analysts are already projecting big numbers for these Chinese EV companies. According to them, NIO is on track to sell 100,000 units next year and Li Auto and Xpeng on track to sell 50,000 units each. In a report on Saturday, China Merchant Securities said that the market response to NIO's ES6 and EC6 models has been positive. Now that NIO, Xpeng and Li Auto have all gone public in the US, the three new powerhouses are now on a rapid rise in sales after a difficult period, the report notes. The judgment was based on the fact that China's new energy vehicle sales are accelerating in 2020, shaking off the effects of the recent economic downturn we have seen. And China's new energy vehicle sales remained at around 1.05 million units from 2018 to 2019, and as we enter 2020, new energy vehicle sales are rapidly recovering. The year-on-year -year growth rate of new energy vehicles has turned from negative to positive from July, and growth is just accelerating even further. Domestic new energy vehicle sales were 16 million units in October, up 104.5% year-on-year. And I think the takeaway is just how fast China is going towards new energy, and NIO being able to sell 100,000 units next year will really silence the skeptics who say that the stock is overvalued. I respectfully disagree with these people, and I don't think they fully grasp the recent rise of growth stocks we have seen. Companies such as Tesla, Amazon, Netflix and NIO of course, all have growth premiums on them meaning they are valued more than their current cash flows because investors are expecting them to increase these cash flows immensely in the future. Of course I can be wrong, but I do wholeheartedly believe that NIO will increase its cash flows so much that I think its current growth premium and share price we are seeing is cheap compared to what it will be in the future, which is basically why I'm invested in it, of course. I also want to remind everyone that in the same way people call Tesla not just a car company, NIO is also not just a car company. They plan to deploy more than 300 second generation battery swap stations in China next year, according to NIO's co-founder and president Xing Liang. As of September 2020, Alton is the operator with the largest number of battery swap stations in China, with a total of 276, but NIO is in second place with 155. China's 2020 government work report has expanded the term building charging stations to increasing the number of charging stations, battery swap stations and other facilities. In the context of the rapid development of new energy vehicles, the NIO-led battery swap mode ushered in policy benefits. Analysts also pointed out that only in the taxi and online car market, the battery swap mode market scale can reach 90 billion won or so. That's around 13 billion dollars for a market that isn't too related to the actual cars of NIO, but rather the battery swap stations they have. Early in September, William Lee Bin, founder, chairman and CEO of NIO, said that the company was now developing a second generation battery swap station that is much more efficient than the current one. In a speech at the China Automotive Industry Development Forum held in Tianjin, Li said that NIO was doing some cost reduction and will speed up the deployment of the second generation of battery swap stations early next year. And like I said, he plans to deploy more than 300 of these swap stations, which could make NIO the largest operator of these stations if the others can't keep up. Additionally, NIO CEO William Lee said that he's planning a total of 1000 of these swap stations being built in the future. So just imagine how much revenue that can bring once they get there. So yes, I am obviously very much bullish on NEO and will continue to be bullish on them no matter how the earnings report really goes since I am a long term investor and I plan to hold them for years to come. But with that said, how should one go about trying to play this earnings report? Meaning should you buy stock today, tomorrow or should you just go crazy with options? First of all, I really want to discourage everyone from buying short term, meaning weekly or even monthly NEO call options. At that point you start to move from investing in a company that I deem to have strong fundamentals to outright gambling. Short term movements are very difficult to predict and for 99% of the people that's how you lose your money. And I really don't want that to happen. 
As for buying shares or maybe even call options that you plan to hold for the long term, I would say sure, go ahead and buy some today, but just make sure that you are holding cash in case we see some nice buying opportunities this week. Just as an example, like I said in the beginning of the video, NEO was at almost minus 8% at market open. And it always feels good to use an opportunity like that to buy some more shares. Sadly, I will personally not be able to follow the earnings report call live, but I will make sure to tell you friends what I think of it later. And with that, I want to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a like and help us reach out to more people about NEO and its potential, but also to save them from falling into the get rich quick trap of buying weekly call options with their life savings. A simple thing just pressing that like button really does help. Also subscribe if you want to see more similar content and I will make sure to provide more updates for you. We are just growing so fast right now, being at almost 3000 subscribers and if you watched all the way to this point, subscribe and join us in the journey to hit 10,000 investors by the end of this year. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.